Clamping and machining parts like this that are completely irregular and have 3D surfaces on both sides, on top and off the bottom, um, can be quite challenging and tricky. So let's, how, let's see how we approach the entire process from a solid aluminum plate to this final bike gear with a special fixture. My name is Mark, welcome to Daytron Tech Talk. Over the last couple of years we had several projects with bike gears like this, no matter if it was a motorcycle part or a bicycle part. So most of them are flat, but sometimes you have a, a 3D um, surface on both sides. So they have like a little radius or big radius actually. Uh, you can barely see this, but it is on both sides. So how to clamp this, especially when you want to flip the part. The first side is quite straightforward. So we use a, a, an aluminum plate, we put it on our vacuum um, fixture, on our vacuum bed, on the standard table, uh, mill it out. But for the second side, we have created, for the sample part, a special fixture. A combination of mechanical work holding and the power of the vacuum that we use. So let's see the first um, operation, the first side um, in the machine now. And once we once we finish this, we take a closer look at this fixture. So let's take the, the plate, my vacuum card, and let's go to the machine. So here's our trick how we make sure that all the little remaining parts that we cut out hold on the vacuum. We use a six millimeter end mill to cut the contours of all the pockets through and we leave like 0 0.2, 0 0.3 millimeter on the bottom. And as a finish pass, to keep the force of the tool quite low, we use a 1.5 millimeter to cut through. So let's see how this part comes out. And if I lift the bike gear now, we can see like all the remaining rest material lies properly on the bed. And here's my, my final part from the first side. Stage number two, how to clamp this now on the milled side. So on this 3D curved radius. That's why we used our cam system, our CAD cam system, to project the shape of this, of this side here and put it on this fixture. So we have a curved, um, a curved surface here. We have the pins, we have the, the positive of all the breakouts, and we have little slots on the vacuum. Now let's take this plate apart, because it's a sandwich plate, so I can show you how the entire um, system works here. We need this sandwich plate to connect the vacuum here on our, on the table, on the table of the Daytron Neo, of the machine. And like internally, in between those two plates, we distribute the vacuum that comes through this hole into this open pocket shape and into the holes that then bring the vacuum force to the four long holes here and the four little holes around there. So in fact, we flip the part, we locate it by the, with, the, with those pins, put on the vacuum, switch on the vacuum pump, so it has a combination of the vacuum work holding and a mechanical, yeah, kind of a fixture so it, it can't rotate, it can't spin, it gives a, a, an, an additional uh, stability during the milling process. Now with the uh, conical inserts on the bottom plate, I can directly put it on my, on my Neo table here. Put the four screws in. Then I make sure that my vacuum connector is set to the front row. So for the first shot, we had it in the, in the back. Now we go to the front row. Now I put my part on. So that's now mechanically located. I switch on the vacuum pump. Push it down, there are no leaks, so it's properly held now, and I can probe it on this cycle and start the run. So this is it, I've switched off my vacuum pump, and because it's 
like after the milling, it's it's it is a it's a snug fit here. So I just take a screwdriver and slightly lift it, and now it's it's completely done. So this is actually a great method of combining the vacuum work holding and a mechanical force to hold it in place. Great project, I hope you liked it. Let us know if you have any other ideas or challenges that are similar that you're facing. Stay tuned for more and thanks for watching.